Hi hey everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how to find the rule of a quadratic function in factored form. So in your notebook, please put the subtitle, Find the Rule of a Quadratic Function in Factored Form. Finding the rule of a parabola in factored form is extremely easy as long as we know the following. We are either given the zeros of the parabola or enough information to locate them, and we know at least one point on the parabola. The easiest way to illustrate the procedure in finding the rule of a parabola in factored form is to go through an example. So in your notebook, please put example and put the following question. A parabola has the zeros located at 1 and 5 and passes through the point 3 and minus 8. The question, find its rule. Now let's clearly show the information that's given to us. Let's clearly identify the zeros. They are both located at 1 and 5. Now this reveals to us Z1 and Z2 to be used in our rule. And let's identify our point. The point that we were given is 3 and minus 8. And this reveals to us a possible x value that we may use in the rule and also a possible y value. Having these four pieces of information in our hand, the rest is straightforward plug and play. Now we know that the factored form of a parabola looks like the following. y equals a multiplied by x subtract one of the zeros multiplied by x subtract the other zero. If you look carefully at the rule, the only value that we are missing is the value of the variable a. Let's plug in everything else that we do know. We know that the y value from the point is minus 8 equals the a we don't know and in the first bracket the x value coming from the point is 3. Subtract our first 0, which is 1. Close up the first bracket. And in the second bracket, the x again comes from our point, which is 3. Subtract our second 0, which is at 5. The rest becomes straightforward algebra. So, Let's simplify the expression first. We have negative 8 equals a multiplied by 3 minus 1 is 2 multiplied by 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Let's clean up just a little bit more. We have negative 8 is equal to 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 times a. And let's finish isolating the a by dividing both sides by negative 4. So we end up that our a value is 2. Therefore, the rule for this parabola in factored form is the following. y equals the value of a, we just found it to be 2. And our first bracket, we have x subtract our first 0, which is 1. And the other bracket, x, subtract our second 0, which was 5. So minus 5. And there you have it. This is the rule in factored form for the parabola with the zeros 1 and 5 and passing through the point 3 and minus 8. As you can see, it's an extremely simple procedure.